We're road tripping to Windsor today. But first, we need coffee. All right, we got our coffee. We're gonna head to Windsor to run some errands, and then uh, hopefully the rain holds off a bit. We'll give you a garden update, but let's hit the most boring highway in Ontario, the 401. Costco um, kind of figuring out why I've never come here on a Sunday finding a parking spot is a premium if it's any like this inside we might not be getting anything because I am not one to stand in line for much longer than 10 seconds anyway let's get inside we're just looking for a couple gas cans and we're also looking for what they call life straws if you don't know what those are it's like a miniature water filtration so let's get inside and see if we got to get the elbows up we gotta get to the camping section here. I think I got the wrong aisle. It's gonna be one back. There we go. Life straw. No gas cans. We're on a roll now. Look what I found. She'd kill me if I came home with that. I do the self checkout, hopefully it's quicker. All right, well, that was not as near as bad as I thought it was going to be. There's a lot of people in there. The, the lineup to get out of the store was bigger than the lineups at the checkouts. Anyway, as you saw, we used the self-checkout. I got my Life Straws. They were $59.95 with tax. I think they're about $67. Bucks. And over there, I got more gas cans. Those were $26 for two. It's a pretty good deal because you pay more than I pay about 30 bucks for one at one of the regular stores so that was a good deal now we got to head over to Superstore to get one of them flash boxes that Jen ordered because I happen to be going to Windsor today so she thought she better check Superstore I told you all about that deal before anywhere near a Superstore and she's on the app trying to find out what they got so we're gonna head over there get one of their mystery boxes over there and then we're gonna head back home after we Get our elbows up getting out of this parking lot here. Superstore uh, for those of you who think that's odd those line of geese walking across the parking lot. This is Canada uh, That's a common occurrence Maybe not where you live, but where we live. There's more geese than people. Anyway, I go inside uh, Latest message. I got two boxes to pick up. Let's go see what we get All right back with our boxes. Let's see what she bought Each box it's five bucks, so ten dollars total. Look at the cucumbers, peppers, all kinds of good stuff in there. What the other one? Nice, even more corn. That's about twenty-five dollars worth of produce that we got for ten dollars. 
and there's nothing wrong with it. Anyway, it is time to head home. Harvest time for some of the vegetables, not the tomatoes yet. Have a quick look. Look at the size of some of these tomatoes. However, we got some lettuce, we got some zucchini, the watermelons. I'll show you all that in a second. We got to get the carrots harvested because the carrots are supposedly ready. So let's have a look. All right, also, what do we got? Spinach zucchini and there is uh, a little bit of dill underneath the zucchini yellow squash something swimming in my dad's coffee cup and Great. and beans what about the lettuce that's not lettuce oh it's lettuce and spinach apparently yeah. right here. Oh, it's got some more dill let's put it down here under let's the system don't blow away well, i can smell it i love I wonder if I can drink around him. I probably can. So these are our pickling pickles, pickling cucumbers. They're not uh, coming yet, but they're getting there. Tomatoes. Now we've got some more coming here. We're here, like I said before, we're gonna have a ton of tomatoes. Here's our cute. Here's our carrots. Look down in there. Hopefully, you can look down in there. They're ready. We're about to pull them. We got the right one. So, what does it say? Just loosen the dirt around loosen it. Loosen the dirt around it and pull it up a little. Try not to break it. Get out, Axel. Okay. Pull the whole goods. Yep. What we got? We'll find out if we got a real one or a short one like last time. Oh, oh two. It's not too oh. bad. We had two. A deformed looking little thing, isn't he? Jesus. Well, we'll let the other ones go longer then. Yeah. So I'm not quite sure how you get the perfect carrots. Every time we did carrots, they're either real stubby, thick on top, but real stubby. Or they, when there it looks like it's got two legs. We're gonna let the other ones go for a little while longer. Let's go have a look at the peppers. All right, so here we go. Here, a couple peppers there. Some more beans growing. Our corn's coming up. I'm not sure how well that's gonna take. Okay. Hang on here. More tomatoes are coming in. This is our watermelon plant, people. We have like five ones. We guys. checked the watermelons the other day, and they were about the size of a quarter there are five that are sprouting. now look at them <gasps> mom come here it's all bigger. i know i saw it i saw it earlier everybody's getting excited about the watermelon yeah because i never eat watermelon they're big they're getting big oh okay so question for you all these cucumber plants have had one cucumber on them well a few have been eaten that's what i'm saying a few of a few have been eaten by a squirrel i believe but they're just not producing, even even small ones, we're not finding them. Or they're being eaten before we get to them. If we go over to the other one, this guy over here in the pot, he's got a little one in the back here. There's a couple of them going back there. Uh, oh, another one right here in the front. That guy there's got a couple of small ones. So my question is, did we crowd them? We got lots of flowers on them. They're growing out of the box, but did we crowd them? Is that why they're not producing too many? Or is it just not that time yet? How long have you been in, whoops. Let me to get you there. <laughs> How long have you been in the ground? 
Two months? They've been in the ground roughly roughly 60 days. Just about 60 days. So maybe they got a little more to go. But if you guys know, leave me a comment down below as to why they're not producing. Everything else seems to be bearing fruit. But these ones here, only a couple. And the rodents beat us to it. And that's going to be our garden update. So that's our garden update. It'll get more vegetables going on. Didn't make any sense either. So that's our garden update. We'll bring you along. Lettuce, and spinach, zucchini. And no yellow squash. Somebody swimming in my coffee. Ew! I wonder if I can drink around him. I probably can.